Right guys, so today is the day I'm going to put up the hex beam for the first time with hopefully all the tweaks and snags that needed to be done. Um, so I'm going to go through the real time. Um, I've got a couple of cameras. I've always got my phone recording this and I've got my little um, DJI Osmo 3, I think it is, um, for the close-ups. So you guys are going to see the real time. Um, I might speed it up at bits. Um, but I really want to see how long this takes me to put this up but I don't think it's going to get take too long um, so let's get started first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to loosen this clamp and here this is a 25mm diameter pipe loosen that with my quarter ratchet I'm going to get our centre post with our base plate already attached we just leave that attached protection cap on the bottom there I'm going to slot this in like so. Once this is in, let that bottom out. Now we're not going to put this up today. I just want to... I just want to set the hex beam up at this height. Now, before we go any further, I'm just going to grab my um, step ladders because of my garden and the topo topography of it. Um, I need a little bit of extra height um, but if you had clear space you could put this on the ground and then put it on the mast okay so now we're going to get our spreader arms like so take off our little clip find the bottom end like so slot that in can you see that slot that in like so oh, come on it does go on easy honestly that's it Straighten up the clips. There's one in. Get us to get any second one. I like to do them opposites so it kind of balances out the weight. Now it's important that you put away everything neatly because when you go to put it up, it makes a massive difference how long it takes to set it up again. Okay, so let's just put that in here, slot it in. Right. Pull our clips up, like so. Let's get arm number three. I'm going to get and get some Velcro straps for these, I think. Make them a bit easier to actually put up. Now, I need to watch for this swing set that's here. So let's just see where this is going to be. It does go on easy, honestly. It's just because I've not got it that straight. Now, let's get a fourth arm. Honestly, they do go on easy. Go. I think we've actually gotten away with that because we want one this side of the slide and one the other side of the slide. So let's take our last two pulls. Okay, there is our poles in. Now, we need to start hooking up the ropes, the rope sets, to the Again, this is a, as I say, this is the first time we're actually doing this. So it's a little bit of a learning curve, okay. That's the S hooks just getting a little bit tangled, so that's something I need to I need to bear in mind. So it's the red ones that go to the middle. Just 
So let's just undo that. Okay, that'll go away now. That's that won't get tangled like so. And while I'm here, I'm just going to untie this other one. One loop round. Like so. And we'll put this round to this side. Like that. Then I'm gonna take our rope. We're gonna hook this on, if I can show you this. We're gonna hook this on to one of these holes that's up here. Let's just do that. There we go. Okay. Get our next arm here. So there's it. Always watch your ladders, guys. Okay, so that's our ropes up. Now we're going to connect up our last tensioning wire, which goes around the circumference. And this is going to tension it all together. Hard to show on the camera, I'll try and put the camera up there. So see when I do this, you see this is starting to move. Hopefully you can see that, clip that on. And that just brings it all together. So that's our hex beam up. Exploding the wires and that's taking me just over 15 minutes. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to fit these wire elements that we've got down here. So that's what we're going to go to do next. I'm going to start from the middle out or the bottom out, which is going to be 10 meters. So we've got a reel here. Okay. There we go. And we're just going to pull this off like so. And how we do this, is we've got a wing nut here. Like so. And if I can show you, there is a couple of washers there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this in here. This little loop. I can press it between the two flat washers and there's, there's a spring, as long as the spring washer takes up the tension, that's it. Now, this is the bit that's the doddle, so all we do now is hook the wire, like so, pull the reel out. Hook it in there, we just work our way around and it, it, because it's on the reel, it, it cannot get tangled. So, Is it? I'm going to step out to here. Uh, let me see, there's us. Yep, so we're almost coming off the end of the reel, like so. Get rid of the reel and same again. Like so, put that on there, tighten it up, and that is our 10 meter element, and everything's all tensioned up there, pre-tensioned, we've got our clips and we've got our glue line heat shrink now on to 12 metres, like so. Try and get this in view for you. Same again. Like this on.
again. Put that in there, like so, and run it round. Going to need the step ladder for seven, eh, maybe seventeen, but definitely twenty. Right, climb over the slide. Over this way. And obviously just to put it away, it's just the reverse, you just wind it onto the reel and walk around the antenna. Here we go. Yep, we're in there. Tighten that up. Good to go. One to fifteen. Fifteen up. Connection. There we go. Hex beam is up. Right, guys, so roughly it was 24 minutes to put the hex beam up, four minutes to put up the mast. So 28 minutes, I think that's quite a respectable time. You think if you're going to do a field day, you think if you're going to even going to, going to operate for a day, to put that up in half an hour, I think under half an hour, I think is really, really good. Um, there is the other thing that you need to guide the mast. So you would need to put your guy ropes then put this up. So I'm not going to do that today. All right, so I just wanted to do a, a final run through this to say this is the first time for me actually putting this up and I think I could get better and quicker at it. Um, so yeah, you'd have your secondary guiding points and then put it up. You need to connect up your coax, obviously. If I can show you this up here, which is this tail end here. All right, but uh, hopefully I'll try and get a close in there. You maybe see the side of these element connections, but all the wires look decent. They're not going to touch each other. Yep. They're all quite evenly tensioned. Yeah, so there's our hex beam up. Less than half an hour. So if you're building along, that's what you could kind of expect. Time you can expect to actually put this up. Now, as I say, my garden's got a lot of topography here. All the, all the garden furniture, kids toys. So what I'd recommend is maybe have a little sort of stand on the ground where you could set up the hex beam. You could do it at ground level, and then all you need to do is, is then lift, up, lift it over because it has a 20, meter, 20 millimeter mast, and then you can just slot it into your uh, mast tripod, whatever you're going to use to get it up in the air. And that would certainly be easier than me uh, using the uh, step ladders. But again, um, that's what I have to do just because of the garden, and I don't mind at all. Right, guys, so I think the next thing that we're going to do is I actually want to take this down now, and I want to time myself doing that. Right guys, so that took us about 18 and a half minutes to take it down. I think that's really quite good. Remember we had to tie up all those ropes and that's really what took the time there in my head. I need to run back through the video, but really, really quick. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take down the mast here and uh, we're going to see how long that takes. So to take down the mast, that took about two minutes from where it was, just over two. So. I don't know what more I can say guys, um, let me know what you think down in the description, but I think this antenna, um, I think it's probably the most convenience you're going to get for a beam. To put a beam up for 20 through 6, and it's only 20 through 10 here, but adding 6 metres is a doddle, probably will do that on a, 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 at a later date, but an absolute doddle to set up, um, it can all go away neatly. Um, and then when I take it out again, it goes up as quick because I've taken that time to pack things up. Now, I need some uh, suggestions for a bag to put all this stuff in and I don't want to pay a lot of money. £20, $20, that's really all I'm wanting um, to spend. 
And I'm thinking about something like a, a tripod stand bag, light stand bag, something like that. So this pole um, with the base plate, that's 200 millimeters in diameter. So what's that, eight inch? Something, or nine inch, something like that, somewhere thereabouts. So I'm gonna leave the pole attached to that. So it needs to have a bigger uh, diameter size than um, 200 mil for that. But I am working on a slightly smaller uh, base plate and that will come at a later date. So there we are guys, um, tell me what you think. As I say, let me know down in the comments and I really hope that you guys are gonna have a go um, at building this hex beam yourself. Again, links down in the description to the bill of materials if you want to have a go. Bye for now guys.